I'll watch some TV. It'll help me to relax! Welcome back to the Ren and Stimpy recap. Last week we talked about Jerry the belly button elf and today we are taking a look at road apples. And with these hands I hold the fate of millions. This title card is uh, pretty good. It's visually interesting and has both our two main characters, although as apples. It makes it stand out as a title card, looking very different and still managing to be a pretty, a pretty decent looking card as well. <laughs> this episode starts almost identically to the second half of uh, Royal Canadian Kilted Jacksman with uh, the sun. It's really similar, and I'm also getting some out west vibes. Well, just because it's a desert. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy are boiling in the sun, and uh, then they say that they have been crawling through the desert for months. Add circus episode to the list of uh, episodes this start is similar to. My poor Ren! You don't need to continue on like this! Stimpy drags a half-dead Ren through the desert, but in a very nice twist, it's uh, Stimpy that snaps here instead of Ren. That's it! I can't take another step! What the hell? Good freakout moment as usual, although the faces were not quite as twisted as I would have liked. Stimpy collapses as well, and his uh, tongue finds the road. Stimpy asks if uh, Ren can see what he sees. I can assure you he doesn't. Ren does a big brain move and asks Stimpy to tell him what he sees first. A road! What else? Oh yeah, right! That's what I see! A road! <laughs> Their good spirits are uh, restored upon discovering the road, and they spot an RV coming their way. Once again, I gotta say, this is all very familiar. Do you mind telling me exactly what an RV is? Why, Ren? There are homes away from home! Stimpy hypes up the RV as the American dream, uh, come true, and Ren looks suspicious at first, but then he changes his mind and we get a very disturbing scene. Oh! Uh, excuse me! <laughs> Don't bother. It appears that I'm going to survive. That's dark. The animal uh, spits Ren's bloody body back on him and we see the RV getting closer as Ren tells us his plan. Okay, here's the plan. You lie down on the road and pretend you were hit by a car! Stimpy really goes the extra step, pulling out his uh, tire track paint and making it all look legit. Stimpy does a great job playing the part. And I'll stand here, where it's safe! <laughs> Ren gets hit and ends up looking like this, twitching a lot as uh, the RV slows down and the owner gets out. And you can probably guess who that is. That's three this week! Oh look, honey, they're still alive! These uh, interesting incarnations of Mr. and Mrs. Pipe bring the two uh, squished, or I guess uh, one squished and one normal animal inside the RV and uh, it drives off, hitting every mailbox along the way. That was a Mr. Horse appearance and a Muddy Mudkipper appearance in the same frame. We get to look at the two animals' backs and it's a really painful image. That'll fix you right up. Blood sucking sand snails. <laughs> oh no, I'm not liking this one bit. So the start was new to me, but I remember really disliking the main part of the episode and I can remember why. And you look like you could use 
a nice refreshing shower. It's gonna be super hot water, isn't it? Yep. The sadist Mr. Pipe turns on the hot knob and burns Ren, and then he joins him. Bro thinks he's old man winter. Always like a tour of your new home. Over here we have a complete kitchenette and breakfast nook. I'm not gonna lie, this is such a wasted concept for an episode. The RV that's bigger on the inside would be a great plot for a road trip fun episode with Ren and Stimpy, and why not add in Mr. Horse? Just doing a torture episode feels so lame. An on-premises butcher shop, a deli counter, a complete beauty parlor and nail salon. See, there is so much potential here. Wilbur is here. I'm sure he will do something this episode. Mr. Pipe gets shot in his butt and his pipe and then it's lunchtime. First, we have hot buttered beef Ooh. and meat on the cob. Delicious. The food looks trash, not gonna lie. Or this dessert is looking fire, but the meat just looks so gross. They are about to eat when Mr. Pipe says the two are too sunstroked to eat solid food. They need is a tall, frosty glass of skunk milk. I'm out. Now, what's good with this episode? It's so gross for no reason. We get this pretty iconic screenshot of the two not impressed by their drinks, or at least Ren, because Stimpy just drinks it. <gasps> Stimpy burps in Ren's face, which is just wonderful, and then tries to get drink, uh, get uh, Ren to drink the skunk milk, which doesn't work. I'm not gonna drink it, because I don't like it! How do you know you don't like it? Did you try it? No! Stimpy tries to shame Ren into drinking it, and this scene is just annoying. It's not funny at all, it's just not good. The only thing I like is this face Ren makes, and it's only because he just looks kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, this episode is gross. Mr. Pipe comes back and is now gonna take the two out for a walk. Ren and Stimpy are excited, forgetting that they are in a moving vehicle. This whole episode is animal abuse, but that's not even the problem really, because unlike the scenes in Dog Show and that one scene in Ren's retirement, the two are barely portrayed as animals and aren't really getting realistically hurt that much. Like we don't hear Ren whimpering or anything. And then the Phantom stalks his victims and tears them! Mr. Pipe is telling the two a scary story while they drink coffee. Oh, sorry, did I say coffee? It's skunk milk, of course. The two get ready to go to bed as Stimpy is scared. Mongrels, dimwits, fools, here's the bed, boys, and your new roommate, Wilbur Cobb. Fantastic. I was just wondering how this episode could get better. Why are they scared of him? I don't get this. Isn't this like Stimpy's idol that he has always had positive reactions to? Why change it now? Uh, anyway, he rambles on as usual. Dwarf, put a box under him, I said. And, uh, and, 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 uh. Not often we see time cards in this show. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure. I'm not sure if we uh, have had one since uh, Fake Dad last season. The two look miserable, and Wilbur is still talking. That's a big bed. Ren is really mad as he is the only one awake and then of course he realizes that if he is the only one awake, there is no one driving. <laughs> I like that uh, quick little scene. Just enjoyed how it uh, looked. They are now uh, on the bottom of the ocean and the two are kicked out of the RV into the water. 
I already went to bed. <laughs> and that's how the episode ends. Thank God it's over. So I don't think it comes as a big surprise that I didn't like this episode. I wouldn't say I hate it, but there's not much to like here. I guess the first part is okay before they get picked up, and there are moments with good stuff happening, like that scene with the like bus crashing into the water at the end, or the RV. I, it's like okay. No, actually that scene was good, I liked that scene, but that was like literally 5 seconds. Because there are other like stuff that could work here, but it's all ruined by the so played out torture format. I don't find it funny to watch the two just be hurt for an entire episode. I'm not saying it can't work, but here it really didn't. And it's sad, because I like the RV idea, and I don't dislike uh, Mr. and Mrs. Pipe as characters usually at all, but here they're just not enjoyable at all. I think the episode could have been saved a bit by being funnier, but yeah, it's not very funny. That has been true for multiple episodes this season, but unlike most of those, they had something else good to offer. Like, um, I think, uh, which episode, oh, what, what is it called? Uh, no Pants Today. It's kind of similar to this one, because it had a uh, stimp, it even had uh, this, wait, that and the circus episode actually. Uh, both had like the car scene and Stimpy getting kind of abused in both. Not really abused, but treated poorly. Uh, but Circus uh, episode was uh, funny, and No Pants Today had other really interesting stuff going on that you didn't even care about, like Stimpy being treated poorly for a while. And it wasn't that bad in that episode either. Here it's just like, it's just mean. Fun fact, uh, this episode is trash. No, but um, it had like, I think two deleted scenes. I'm gonna check. Um, the scene with the... Um, what is it called? The the bird? The bird eating uh, eating on Ren? That was uh, being uh, cut out uh, when the, the episode were, was uh, released on DVD. And the other scene... Uh, um, wait, now I'm reading and it looks really weird. It says the other scene that was cut out is... No, the other scene that was cut is where Ren and Stimpy were told the story of the Phantom while having to share a room with Bill, uh, Wilbur Cobb. Um, isn't that like two minutes of the episode? I'm gonna have to check my DVD um, because that scene seemed really long in my version so uh, I'm not sure how they can cut that out and still have an episode. <laughs> um, I, I don't care that much about this episode though but I will still check it but all in all not a good episode. Join me next week where we are taking a look at Hard Time for Haggis. Uh, <laughs> goodbye, folks. <laughs> <laughs>